Trustee Geezer. Here. Trustee Fruzzoloni. Trustee McCarthy. Here. Mayor Severino. Here. Please uh, stand and face the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Their motion approved the minutes of our January 3rd, 2022 Village Board meeting. Second. Moved by Trustee McCarthy, seconded by Trustee Zalik. Clerk, call the roll. Trustee Berger. Aye. Trustee Garvey. Aye. Trustee Zalik. Aye. Trustee Geezer. Aye. Trustee McCarthy. Addresses from the audience. Tia, do we have any from the internet? We have not received any electronic public comments. Thank you. There being none, Mr. Rhodes, none in the back. Okay. Thank you. Then we'll move right along. We have resolution number 3231, recognizing Carol Rebholz for 25 years of service with the village of Carroll Stream. And I thought it was interesting that I had three trustees call me. I all wanted to read it. But Trustee Geezer was the first trustee, so I'm letting Trustee Geezer read that. Well, thank you very much. Uh, whereas Carol Rebholz began her employment with the village of Carroll Stream as a personal personnel technician in the Personnel Services Department on January 13, 1997, and whereas Carol Rebholz was appointed Acting Personnel Services Director on August 2, 1999, and subsequently appointed Personnel Services Director, later retitled Employee Relations Director, and then Human Resources Director, effective March 6, 2000, and whereas during her tenure, Carol Rebholz has served as the village's liaison to the Illinois Municipal Retirement Fund, ICMA-RC slash Mission Square Retirement Program, Intergovernmental Personal, Personnel Benefit Cooperative and Intergovernmental Risk Management Agency, and as a board member of the Illinois Public Employer Labor Relations Association. And whereas under her professional leadership, the village of Carroll Stream has contemporary personnel policies and procedures and has met its obligations under a host of mandated state and federal programs, including the Affordable Care Act and various federal and state initiatives mandate, mandated as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. And whereas Carol Rebholz places a premium upon the well-being of village employees, demonstrating this through wellness initiatives and employee events. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the mayor and the board of trustees of the village of Carroll Stream on behalf of all the former and present elected and appointed officials, employees, and residents of Carroll Stream as follows. Section 1, Carol Rebholz is hereby recognized and commended for outstanding services to the village of Carroll Stream. Section 2, Carol is wished the very best of happiness and health in her continued employment with the village of Carroll Stream. This resolution shall be in full force and effect from and after its passage is approved by law, passed and approved on the 17th day of January, 2022. Why don't you have Carol come on up and say a few words, if you will? And then come on up and we'll take a picture with everyone. I will be very brief. Well, time flies. Uh, I just, I want to say thank you to the mayor and to the board and to the village manager and my peers and all the employees of the village for making this such a, a wonderful organization to work for. And I look forward to uh, my 30 year in five years. Thank you. Thank you. And me, me as the mayor, I have to say that you're a wonderful person to work with. Your knowledge precedes you. Your staff that works under you is phenomenal to work with. And I want to thank you for the job that you've done and how you've worked to where you get where you're at. Wonderful job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come on up and take a picture with us. We take a picture with you. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm smiling. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One, two, three. Thank you. 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 Thank Their motion to establish a consent agenda. So moved. Second. Moved by Trustee McCarthy, seconded by Trustee Berger. Clerk, call the roll. Trustee Berger. Aye. Trustee Garvey. Aye. Trustee Zalik. Aye. Trustee Geezer. Aye. Trustee McCarthy. Aye. Madam Clerk, would you please read what is on the consent agenda? Certainly. Staff reports and recommendations. Award of a bid to ERA Valdivia in the amount of $457,600 for painting and minor repairs to Water Tower No. 3 Fullerton Avenue. Yes. 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 Award of a contract to Lakeshore Recycling Systems in an amount not to exceed $90,466 for street sweeping services for the period of May 1, 2022 through April 30th, 2023. That's off. We'll be changing the uh, total on that one, correct? Um, that, that amount actually uh, is, yeah, that should be taken off. There is a, a change in, in the total amount uh, that is due. Okay, okay, so that has been pulled off the consent agenda. Award of a contract for professional engineering services with Christopher B. Burke Engineering in the amount of $60,000 for the town center fountain improvements. Yes. yes. Uh, that um, was subject to village attorney review, and he has had a chance to review it. Okay. okay. So we're pulling that off? Nope, that one's on. That's, that stays on, okay. Ordinances. Ordinance amending Chapter 11, Article 2 of the Carroll Stream Code of Ordinances by increasing the number of Class F liquor licenses from 9 to 10. Tasty House 1, LLC, doing business as Tasty House 1, 1042 Fountain View Drive. Yes. Yes. That is Ordinance Number 2022-01-05. Ordinance amending Chapter 8, Article 6 of the Carroll Stream Traffic Code, Parking Schedules, no parking on Phillips Court along the south side from Schmale Road to the west end. Yes. 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 That is Ordinance Number 2022-01-06. Resolutions. Resolution accepting a grant of stormwater management and conveyance easement and public sanitary sewer easement, 250 Schmale Road, Dynamic MD. Yes. yes. That is resolution number 3232. Resolution authorizing the execution of an intergovernmental agreement by and between the Village of Carroll Stream and the Illinois Department of Transportation, traffic control devices located on state highways. Yes. yes. That is resolution number 3233. Resolution authorizing the execution of a grant agreement by and between the Village of Carroll Stream and DuPage River Salt Creek Work Group regarding the Klein Creek Stream Bank Stabilization. Yes. 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 That is resolution number 3234. New business. Raffle license application, Knights of Columbus. Approval of a raffle license and waiver of the fee and manager's fidelity bond for their raffle at Corpus Christi Catholic Church on February 13th, 2022. Yes. yes. Raffle license application, American Cancer Society. Approval of a raffle license and waiver of the fee and manager's fidelity bond for the Bags for Life tournament to be held at Chrissy's on February 16th through March 16th, 2022. Yes. 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 <laughs> Payment of bills. Regular bills January 4th, 2022 through January 17th, 2022. Yes. Yes. Addendum warrants, January 4th, 2022 through January 17th, 2022. Yes. Yes. And that concludes the items on the consent agenda. Their motion to put those items on the consent agenda. So moved. Moved by Trustee Garvey, seconded by Trustee Zalek. Yeah, sure. Or call a roll. <laughs> Trustee Berger. Aye. Trustee Garvey. Aye. Trustee Zalek. Aye. Trustee Geezer? Aye. Trustee McCarthy? Aye. 
Okay, so H2 we pulled off. Is there? Um, Is there a motion to approve those items by omnibus vote? So moved. Second. By Trustee McCarthy, seconded by Trustee Garvey. Clerk, call the roll. Trustee Berger. Aye. Trustee Garvey. Aye. Trustee Zalik. Aye. Trustee Geezer. Aye. Trustee McCarthy. Aye. Now, H2, we pulled it off. Yes, Mr. Mayor, thank you. Uh, the bid amount was 89016 and that's the amount that should be placed in the, uh, in the award uh, so that the motion would be to award the contract in an amount not to exceed 89,016. I'll, I'll make a motion to approve it with the amount not to exceed 89,016. I'll second that. Moved by Trustee McCarthy, seconded by Trustee Garvey. Clerk, call a roll. Trustee Berger. Aye. Trustee Garvey. Aye. Trustee Zalik. Aye. Trustee Geezer. Aye. Trustee McCarthy. Aye. Report of officers. Trustee Berger. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Carol, I know some of these guys are going to have funny stories about working with you over the years, and I haven't been here that long. So I didn't need music with my repo. <laughs> 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 It's the wrong band, though. You were being played off. <laughs> yeah. This isn't Music an award show. Music and everything show. when you talk, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Music just follows me. Um, but the only funny story I have is the fact that I couldn't find my social security number when you were, or my card, when you were trying to get me all set up as a, as a new trustee, and I was really embarrassed by that. So I'll have to stick with that story for now, and hopefully in five years I'll have a better story for you. Did you find it? I stopped looking because I gave her my birth certificate instead. <laughs> I should probably go back and look for that. House in your name. <laughs> um, and I hope that uh, everybody found some inspiration today with uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And uh, of course, we would probably all like to congratulate the Purdue Boilermakers on defeating Illinois in double overtime today. <laughs> and that concludes my report. Thank you, Trustee Berger. The Trustee Garvey. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I just want to congratulate the Public Works Department for the good job on the ice storm that we had last Saturday. Superior work. Um, and congratulations uh, to Bill on the working out the agreement on the Klein Creek, Klein Creek project. I just want to express my gratitude for the Supreme Court ruling on the vaccine mandate. So we can get that off our minds for a while. And Carol, I just want to offer my congratulations. Um, we've known each other from way back when I was on the police commission with John Kaufman, and I really appreciate and respect and admire your, um, your conduct and the way you, you handled yourself. You've just been superior in all the work that you did back then, and you've been that way since. And I re appreciate your patience with me back then, and uh, I just admire you greatly. So thank you for staying with us for 25 years. And that's the end of my report. Thank you, Trustee Garvey. Trustee Zalek. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. First off, congratulations, Carol. There were many times I've called with dental questions and <laughs> all that stuff when I was in the police department and you came through with flying colors and steered me in the right path. And more recently, when St. Andrews asked for um, uh, sexual harassment training, and if I took it in another location. I didn't have to sit and take it again. And since I passed with flying colors, <laughs> I called you and you sent it to me and I didn't have to go through that training again. So again, thank you very much for all your hard work and 25 years and <clears throat> I'm gonna hold you to, you gotta stay till 30. Um, another blood drive, um, you know, you hear that the blood donations are down a decade. Um, they haven't been this low in over a decade. So. Uh, the library is holding one tomorrow, um, uh, so you can go ahead and go on the library website and get information to donate blood and, and give life. Um, today we heard about two um, uh, raffles or, or um, Knights of Columbus. I'm a fourth degree uh, in the Knights of Columbus. and. Also, I'm a trustee, and, and I know Matt's going to, Trustee uh, McCarthy's going to talk about it, but um, take time, get out, 
and um, donate um, to these great causes. And you never know, you might come away a winner and a lot of money and a, whole, a heck of a lot of laughs. Um, finally, you know, I, I, every time I look at the newspaper, uh, the local newspaper, and I see that the police held a uh, traffic safety initiative, it baffles my mind how many seatbelt tickets they write. And I used to be one of them. I used to love that, you know, and I used to sign up for those. And it just amazes me that people just don't, haven't learned yet uh, that it could save your life. So hopefully, uh, good job to the police department with those numbers that I read. And keep thought, your thoughts and prayers to the military and first responders. And that concludes my report. Thank you, Trustee Zalek. Trustee Keyser. Thank you. Uh, today's a big day, a national holiday, uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. It was a giant for equal rights and justice for all. So um, hopefully everyone had a few moments to at least uh, think about the legacy. And well, I'm just going to leave a quote that I, uh, that I like um, from Martin Luther King Jr. It's that love is the only force capable of transforming an enemy into a friend. I think, uh, I think we can all believe that. And we ask for more love, more uh, tolerance, more togetherness. Um, so um, if we all learn a little bit about that, I think uh, the day's been well spent. Uh, elsewhere uh, within the village and uh, things going on, just want to congratulate Carol Rebholz for 25 years. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, for allowing me uh, to read that. I don't have any funny stories, I don't think, but I mean, I've worked with you as uh, since 20 or 2001 when I started on the on the police and fire commission. So uh, uh, we've learned a lot together, and there's been a lot going on in the world that you've had to. Uh, uh, conquer. Uh, so thank you for doing it and doing it mindfully. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Uh, on a personal note, I just want to say um, I posted it on Facebook, but and I didn't mention it last week, and my wife scolded me. Um, uh, my son, our son, graduated college. Uh, so I just wanted to publicly say that uh, congratulations to uh, Richard Jonas Geezer for graduating the University of Illinois in three and a half years. And he is, if people are wondering, he is staying down there right now. He has a job uh, with the Illinois Natural History Survey, and he is working on different laboratory projects. Right now he is in the middle of studying and uh, doing research on bats within the state. So he'll be doing that for at least the next uh, nine months. So. But congratulations to him. Uh, we're very proud of you. And uh, get vaccinated if you can. That's my report. Thank you. And thank you for those kind words about Dr. Martin Luther King. Oh, yes. Thank you. Trustee McCarthy. Well, congratulations to, to, to Rick. Rick, um, that, that's pretty impressive to graduate in three and a half years from the University of Illinois. So that's, that's an accomplishment. That's not just going to college. That's that's working your butt off and doing something. So congratulations. Uh, well done. Well done, Rick Jonas Geezer. So I can't call him Ricky anymore. Every time. Three Jonas brothers. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, and also what Trustee Geezer said about uh, with, in regards to Martin Luther King, I, said, I think that sums it up perfectly. A um, little love and tolerance goes a long way to, and let's erase a little hate and, uh, and finding ways to fight tooth and nail on every single opinion there is. We all have a right to an opinion, but we don't have a right to tell you what your opinion should be. Um, so that's my two cents there. Um, we did approve, uh, as Trustee Zalek said, we did approve a couple uh, fundraisers, and one, of course, is the sixth annual Chrissy's Flood Brothers Relay for Life Bags Tournament. Um, we're going to hold it February 16th, 21st, 23rd, 28th, March 2nd, 9th, 10th, 14th, and the finals night is March 16th. Um, you can reach out to me at uh, mccarth1 at aol.com and uh, get signed up. It's $40 a team. And we're going to do the same thing we did two years ago, which is split the proceeds between both uh, Relay for Life and American Cancer Society. And then we're going to pick some local charities again, because um, I think even more now than ever, um, those small charities are the ones who could really use a helping hand because we haven't been out being able to do the shopping shares and the dine-in shares. 
So I think this is a good opportunity for us to be able to make a, an impact locally, which um, to all of us on the committee is, is a huge thing. So come on out. Uh, if you want to donate raffle prizes, you can same email. I'll find somebody to pick it up, or we can meet at a place for a drop-off. Uh, anything is much appreciated. And I'll have, there'll be more information on, online. Uh, I do 90% of it on Facebook. Um, so if you look on Facebook and look under uh, Bags for Life, you'll actually find us. And uh, if you got any questions, just reach out. Um, with that, just, it's winter, it's cold, it's slippery. Look out for your neighbors. Look out for the people who need some help. And one thing I got a couple calls on, Phil, sorry for th throwing this out there, but can you explain why we salt on, on icy days generally in the middle of the street and now not all the way from curb to curb certainly a couple reasons one is when we drop the salt on the center of the road that's what's called the crown so it's the highest point of the road salt works not when it's in a, a nugget a, a, a stone it will only melt right around that but when it gets um, wet when it gets run over by vehicles um, it turns into a brine, and because it's at the highest point, it does a better job of coating the road. One of the other reasons we do that is instead of spreading salt on the entire width of the road, um, when we do that, we get about, and this is backed up by studies, about a 30% loss in the salt because it's hard, bouncing off a hard surface, it, you, you lose it from the bounce into the parkways. So number one, we're losing salt. Number two, we're putting salt on the grass in the parkways. I, I appreciate that. And those, that's the, the, the crown is the answer I gave to the people who called and said, hey, the end's slippery. I said, give it a little while. I said, this is done by design. Uh, but thank you for, for quickly explaining that. It's just, I think it's good information for everybody to have of why, why we do what we do when it comes to salt. Um, with that, like I said, sign up. Sign up for, that, uh, for the bags tournament. Uh, reach out and find out about the, uh, the Knights of Columbus, their fundraiser. Uh, give them a hand. They're another great uh, local charity that, that really impacts everybody locally. So it's a, it's a, it's a great uh, thing to spend a little bit of money on. With that, that's the end of my report. Thank you, Trustee McCarthy. Tia, do you have anything you'd like to add? I know you're working really hard on an agenda for us for the town center and some other things that are going on for next for this year. I am excited. We are working through, I think, some really fun and creative event ideas. We want to shake things up a bit. And we've got a preliminary lineup of bands that I'm pretty excited about. So we're just crossing the T's, dotting the I's, and looking forward to have something to share in the near future. Very good. Thank you. Madam Clark, Julia. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I want to also congratulate Carol on her 25 years. We are lucky to have you. Thank you for being here so long. And congratulations, Trustee Geezer, on your son graduating from U of I early. That is quite an achievement, so congratulations. And I wanted to comment briefly on a Carroll Stream Police Department opportunity that um, Trustee Garvey and I were just in before the meeting, which was to use a use of force simulator downstairs in the police department. And it gave me so much appreciation for what our police department goes through on a daily basis and how tough their job is. My hand was sh literally shaking in these scenarios. So um, just thank you so much to Deputy Chief Cummings for going down there and, and teaching us this and having the instructor there. And then Commander Cleaver is also down there. Um, I think they're going to be down there after the board meeting too, if, if anybody else, if any of the trustees want to try it out. I'm not sure. I think so. Um, anyway, just a fantastic um, training that they that they give their officers that goes way above and beyond what is mandated by the state. So I'm um, just really impressive. We have an amazing police department. I have so much appreciation for what they go through after having done that simulator training. And also wanted to mention that I am now a registrar of voters. So if you know anybody in Carroll Stream or the community that needs to register to vote, I'm happy to do it in person. Um, they can do it up to 28 days before the election in person, otherwise 16 days in advance online. So just keep that in mind. Um, my municipal clerks of DuPage County meeting that I was going to host in Carroll Stream at Racovino's on February 2nd, unfortunately, has been postponed due to COVID. Um, so we're hoping to schedule that later on in the year and I will keep everyone posted on that. As Trustee Zalik mentioned, blood drive tomorrow, it's at the Carroll Stream 
public library parking lot from 11 to 5. So if anybody has time to get over there, like you said, trustees, they like really important. One blood donation saves up to three lives. So super important. Um, don't forget shop and dine in Carroll Stream. And then lastly, in honor of Martin Luther King Jr. Day, just wanted to read another of his quotes. Um, this one I really like. The time is always right to do what is right. That's all I have. Thank you. Oh, sure. <laughs> Trustee McCarthy has a, a follow-up to his report. Carol, I'm sorry. I didn't say anything. And No, it, since I started here in 2003, um, especially in, in our executive sessions when it's, when it's dealing with uh, employee matters and, and uh, contract matters, you've always been there, and, and you've done a great job of making it clear to us, yeah, getting it down into layman's terms so we know exactly what we're talking about. Thank you for always being prepared, and thank you for being a huge asset to the village. And when you need something, don't call her. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's okay. We, we miss, I miss stuff all the time. Mr. Rhodes, our village attorney. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I will also offer my congratulations to, to Carol on her 25 years. You are a pleasure to work with. Um, I will say that every time Carol calls me on the phone, she always starts out the conversation by saying, I think I have what is a simple question. <laughs> <laughs> and it invariably never is. <laughs> but I wish you the best. Thank you. That's all I have. Okay. Mr. Muller, our village manager. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, now that we've had our first measurable snow fall and uh, actually ice, um, just a reminder that there's no parking on village streets after a one inch snowfall um, until all the snow has been cleared. Uh, we find that uh, cars that are parked on the street uh, create a hazard for our snowplow drivers and actually creates uh, an issue with snow that's accumulating around the vehicles and it makes it really hard for uh, the snowplow drivers to clear the streets and make it safe for emergency vehicles. So. Um, there are uh, penalties for parking on the street. We, we don't like issuing those penalties. So, uh, And then finally, uh, there's a ribbon cutting this week Thursday for one of our new businesses at 11.30 a.m. Uh, for a new Baba Steak and Lemonade restaurant. Uh, they're located at 476 West Army Trail Road. Um, and they're west of the Andigo Credit Union and east of the mobile station off of Merba. That's all I have. Where the bagel place used to be? Uh, yeah, the old Einstein. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yep, that's it. Thank you, Mr. Miller. Carol, thank you. Uh, I had the privilege with my wife of Crash and her wedding the day she got married. Uh, we happened to be where they were. I don't want to mention where they were. And I said to my wife, we're going to crash the wedding. <laughs> so we, we, we did get to watch them get married. That was a, quite a long time ago. And I think I just came aboard on the village board, I think, at that time. So that's, uh, that was quite an experience. But thank you. You've been a pleasure for me to work with uh, and a pleasure, I'm sure, for the other department heads. And you could hear it as they, everybody spoke, even our attorney, the same way. Thank you very much for your professionalism. Uh, 25 years is a long time. Just don't plan on going anywhere for a while. I'm not leaving here yet. So <laughs> you just make sure you're here. So thank you very much. Uh, tonight we, we went right through, uh, I-1 is a, we approved a liquor license for a place on Fountain View Drive, and that is a two-unit, uh, restaurant that's going in, and I happened to stop there, it's next to the cleaners, I use that cleaners, it's right down the street, across the street from Bulldogs and from JT's, and I don't know if anybody's been in there, but I walked in with my my clothes, like I was lost, looking around, as trying to sneak in. I can't do like public, uh, like our, our guys do in community development. I don't have a badge or nothing, so I just walked in. And it was really nice inside there, I have to say it. I don't know what the food's going to be like, but it, I'm impressed with what we have happening here, especially with restaurants. It seems like somebody's figured it out. No matter what you do, you have to eat. You can quit buying cars. I mean, you can quit doing a lot of things, but you have to have food. So right now, the restaurants seem to be the big things that we've got going. Uh, this is, I believe, more of a 
Chinese restaurant is what it looked like, or Asian, but really, really, they put a lot of money inside that restaurant to make it look good. So I hope the food matches the interior. Uh, I met the owner's father, and he seemed very nice and looking forward to that opening. So they got their liquor license. Uh, two other restaurants opened besides that in town. I know some of the restaurants that are here have been really big supporters of everything that we do. I think there's more than enough business to go around. Uh, one of the restaurants I was in, three quarters of the people that came in to eat were from Wheaton. They were coming to Carroll Stream to eat because they heard about a new place that was open. So, I mean, I, I think there's, there's a lot of room to grow, and we seem to be right now in that growth mode of restaurants. So that's, that's a good thing. The uh, smoothie place, I have people tell me, we need a smoothie place. Well, we're going to have a smoothie place. We're going to have right down where on Geneva and Schmale where the new gas station went in, and there's a restaurant there, and it's going to be a smoothie place, and then there's a spot in the middle that we haven't decided yet. We're getting closer and closer on what we want to be in that little spot. So that's at the far southeast end of town, which is someplace that seems like restaurants go crazy in that area. Everybody seems to do real well uh, between food, liquor, and gaming, which has all become big things for our, our community. So um, other than that, we talked about the ice and the snow, and it is really when, thank you to Public Works. I mean, I heard the trucks out there two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning, out there throwing salt. I mean, the, the, while we're sleeping, your, your guys are out there doing the job, Phil, and I want to just say thank you for the job that they do. It's, it's nice when I walk around town and people tell me they're thanking me for the job that your guys are doing, but, and I tell them they got nothing to do with it. I mean, it's like they know what they're doing. They put the snow plan together way ahead of time. They've got it covered. If you have a problem, that's when you need to tell me, but... So, which is a good thing. We have very few problems. When it comes to moving salt and brine and everything to keep the streets the right way, you guys are doing a wonderful job. As you do with all the water main breaks, people don't even realize that you could be out there all night fixing a water main break at below zero temperatures and be out there all night working on it so people have water when they wake up in the morning. So we appreciate everything that you do. Police department, I can't say enough about. We love our police department. Our police department is one of the best in DuPage County, maybe the state of Illinois. I'm proud of all the awards that they win. I, following the, uh, again, anytime we do an initiative, we seem to find seat belt, seat belt, seat belt, drugs. Why do you stop a car? I mean, you don't know what you're going to find when you stop that car. If the guy doesn't have a seat belt or she don't have a seat belt on, you don't know what's going to be in the car. Make sure the kids are strapped in. Make sure everything is the way it should be. Thank you for the job that you do. Where's the chief tonight? Um, he is oh, okay. Well, that's okay. We got a deputy chief. I'm. I'm the... <laughs> With the mask on, I had to look twice. It's like, okay, I know who that is. Okay, well, that's good. Uh, other than that. I feel bad that we're here tonight, to be honest with you. And, and I've, I've fought this all day. We have every Monday night for Martin Luther King's birthday, we have been at Wheaton Christian Center. We pushed our meetings to Tuesday night so we could be with our friends at the Wheaton Christian Center honoring Martin Luther King. And to me, that was a great thing to do. We didn't do it this year. Now, we didn't do it because we didn't want to do it. We didn't do it because we weren't asked to participate. And I think with Pastor Carlton passing away, I think it's a shock to all of us that Pastor Carlton passed. I can't even imagine what they're going through, but tomorrow I'm going there to find out because we all look forward to moving the meeting to Tuesday so we could be with them on Monday night. And... It's just funny being here on a Monday night, and when we've been, what, 10 years in a row? I think maybe... Last year they didn't do it also. Well, last year was because of COVID, and I wasn't here either last year when yeah. you think about it, so I was in Florida last year at this time. So, but I really feel bad that they didn't do anything, and I'm sure that they feel bad. Uh, Martin Luther King, in my opinion, I grew up in that era, was a great person. He, was, he did things for the right reason. 
uh, and he was for everybody. And that's the way we, we grew up in Chicago, looking at Martin Luther King as a leader of people, not of color, not of uh, religion, not of anything. It was about the people. And that was why I think that a lot of us really feel uh, Martin Luther King is sometimes not, he's not followed the way I think he would like to be followed. I think that uh, violence was never something that he really liked. He liked peaceful, unconflictable situations. Work it out, love, that, and Trustee Geezer couldn't have said any better. It's try to figure out a way to get along with each other. We have a real problem in this world today of trying to get along with each other. I, I, I got to the point where, and I'm, I'm sure a lot of you, I don't want to touch any, any soft spots here, but it's almost impossible to watch the news today, tonight, tomorrow. I don't know who to believe anymore. I don't know what you read anymore. I don't know who's telling the truth anymore. I know that I'm fortunate that I live in a town with good, honest, hardworking people. We're together, we're all here, and we all know what we're talking about and what we're doing. And we all look out for each other. Once you leave this town, I'm not sure what's going on. I, I don't know. I, I just, I feel bad for this generation that's coming up uh, with the changes that are being made, that I'm not sure that someday we'll look back at this and I know I won't be here. Rick's son will be here and maybe all our, our grandkids will be around and try to figure out what in the world did we do to make it like it is. Because the direction we're going in right now, I look at how much we're paying for gas and food and for everything else that's happening, I could tell you it just is, it breaks my heart to see the things that are happening in this country today. And it's all because it isn't being a Democrat or Republican, it's not being a libertarian or being independent or being black or white. We have to figure out a way to get along with each other and get things done. The only way that you can get things done is by working together. And we need to figure that out. Our politicians need to figure that out. We've figured it out at this level. We all get along with each other. We don't always agree with each other. And I don't expect us all to agree. But when, we, when we're done, the bottom line is what we come, the conclusion that we come to when we're all done is what's the best for the people. Not the best for me, not the best for Matt or for Rick or for our village manager or anybody. It's the, for the people that live here. That's, the, that's what we're here for. And I don't know how to project that to we've got a governor's race coming up. We've got 16 seats in, in the county board coming up all at one time and, and the chairmanship. And this is going to get to be, I'm already, and, and I, I, maybe I'm deeper in politics than a lot of people, this is really getting ugly, I have to tell you. And, I, and you're going to see it's going to get uglier and uglier because people want to win. But win the right way. Run the right way and win the right way. Do the right thing. And that's for everybody. That's for my Republican friends, my Democratic friends, and my independent friends. Run the right way. Do the right thing and do it for the right reason. That's all. That's all we could ask for. And that will make everybody happy and we'll get a lot more done by doing that. So with that, uh, motion to adjourn. So moved. Moved by Trustee McCarthy, seconded by nobody. Second. Uh, uh, Trustee <laughs> Berger. <laughs> Clark, call the roll. Trustee Berger. Aye. Trustee Garvey. Aye. Trustee Zalik. Aye. Trustee Geezer. Aye. Trustee McCarthy. Meeting's adjourned. Oh, you're off. <laughs>